we turned it into NRC or EPA, whatever. There's a flow. There's a path travel of information. Now, in the same instant, that guy in the power nuclear power plant who's forwarding that information up the chain of command revealed in the document the same guy down the chain of the command to the people that work at that nuclear facility, he's prepared a brief for them that says it's the bare minimum they detected, just the bare minimum. Now, again, these are proven liars. I don't have evidence that they detected some huge amount at the power plant. It's quite the contrary. They've been very careful at hiding it, and you can clearly see that in the document. So while I can't tell you that it was however many millicuries per cube squared per minute, or whatever the description is, I can show you how this conspiracy to hide this information and this cover-up works, the in, in, in innate working parts, the mechanical parts, if you will, of this conspiracy. It's very important that Americans begin to understand this has been going on for a long time. In 64 something, they shot JFK. That's the official coup, if you will. Like they say, Russia would have been informed in that day that someone would have gone to the Kremlin and said there's been a coup in America and powers changed hands. We know that. So they've got a lock. They're doing these things. They're doing information control. They're basically having their way with us right now. And don't fall for these intros to these shows that say, we got the new world order on the run. You know, that's totally bogus, folks. I'm telling you right now, we are hurting and we're getting beat up bad. I mean, and the, the, the tactic, as Sun Tzu would tell you, the common military tactic is to convince your enemy through propaganda that he is, in fact, winning the war. But he's not. He's losing the war, and you try to fool him into that. That's very advantageous when all of a sudden your enemy realizes, hey, you've got an overwhelming force of you're facing that you never knew about. You never even knew it existed. And that's what I fear a lot of hidden technology and a lot of things we don't know about. There's so much we don't know about. It's critical as people. We come together now. We begin to decide what's important to us on planet Earth. Is it money? Is it movies, flashy cars, gold chains, or is it just having a nice planet and living a decent life and not going to be a fantastic thriller of a life? You know, maybe you don't jump out of some freaking balloon from outer space and float back to Earth, okay, but you will live a nice life when you're, and you don't have to be totally primitive. You just have to be very careful. No one is, is using rational forethought and planning with this whole human evolution thing. Are they? It just seems to be like a, a wreck on the highway. Like one car hits another car, hits another car, and after a, 20 cars, you got to pile up, and that's where we're at right now, folks. So it's time to get involved, time to get in these documents. You can clearly see who's got the lead, how the information flows, and who's in control. Now let me go down to page 7. Ah, folks, we're not going to miss this one tonight. told you we're going to talk about this Unit 4. Let's see, it's the bottom of this page. Here we go. Protective Measures Team. PMT stands for Protective Measures Team. A lot of acronyms to confuse you. And I saw a video, I think it was on Miss Milky the Clown's YouTube channel. You should subscribe to her while I'm thinking about it. And 2012 Truthers, while I'm thinking about it as well. Anyway, on her channel, this video shows the NRC at some meeting somewhere, and the lady is talking to the general public out in the audience, and she says, I'm paraphrasing, don't worry about digging into these documents because there's so many acronyms and terminology, you know, it's very difficult to figure out, and there's no list for the acronyms that explains them. And I'm thinking to myself, that's a total lie. I've been to the documents. I've got at least two places of notation where they have a list of acronyms, and they do explain what it is to you. And in some instances, they give you a little bit of an explanation. So there's a lot of deception going on. They don't want these housewives of America looking into this. I find that women seem to be much more concerned about this issue than men, right? And I think that's obviously because of the maternal instinct and the whole baby thing, right? They don't want their babies getting hurt. I know men don't either, you know, but it seems, seems to me the most interest I'm getting is out of the fairer sex seems to understand and take it very seriously, the issue, the, the subject of this failed, archaic monopoly that is so extremely dangerous. Nuclear power, folks, it's long time. It's, it's so over. It's so yesterday and so dangerous, and you know what? There's alternative energy, but it's being suppressed. They don't want to talk about that either. There's a total lack in the alternative media, by and large, about some, I mean, I know you see your, when you load up the screen, there's the, the government doesn't want you to have this energy-making device. Well, if you look into those fall good to bust, I mean, if it was good, everyone would have one. I'd have one right now. So they are suppressing technology. That is part of the scheme. It's part of the scam, part of the monopoly. Now, protective measures team, because I told you, somebody's lying about Unit 4, right? Scary, scary, scary. Murato told Gunderson. Gunderson told Mike Adams. Mike Adams told Jones. Jones told somebody. Pretty soon, scary, scary, scary. It's falling down, but I've seen no pictures of it. I haven't seen, I've seen cracks of Fort Calhoun here tonight. 
You know, so what I can and can't see are two different, what I can believe and who I can trust are two different things now, aren't it? Because the ones I can trust are going deep into the FOIA documents and revealing that conspiracy, revealing all those agencies, all those people, what they said, how they hid the plume, how they took this information, dragged that. What was the result? Thousands, 40,000 uh, estimate, and I think it's in, by 2031, they're estimating one point something million cancer fatalities from Fukushima. So. And again, in the docu documents, they say, we know all about Chernobyl. We have the benefit of knowing about Chernobyl and samples from Chernobyl. We're modeling off of Chernobyl. Meanwhile, on the threads online, the trolls are saying, Chernobyl only killed 50 people. What are you talking about? Radiation can't float through the air. It's too heavy. I hear it. Look at my calculation, right? That actually happened to me. The guy told me that. I gave him all my messages. He blocked me, and they told me up, and the lady wrote an article, said I'm an agent. I mean, get real. These people got lots of money. That's an understatement. Trillions. And that's just the Rothschilds and the standard oil guys. And people will do anything for money, folks. I'm telling you now, I can only conclude these people are being compensated somehow to lie and deceive and to not tell us certain things, distracting us with the red cape like the matador and the bull. Meanwhile, behind them is the most giant elephant in the room of all the freedom of information documents. I'm never going to give up on it because it is the world's largest provable conspiracy to date. I've seen none greater. If you know of something bigger and you've got proof of it and some documentation, hey, I'd love to know about it. Check out the links I post up tonight. I, you know, I might not get to all of them, but go on your own and read for yourself. It's super interesting reading, by the way. I find it very fascinating. Okay, now, the PMT is working with DOE NARAC, Department of Energy. NARAC does the modeling for the plumes and the fallout in the atmosphere to refine source term models in an effort to develop dose projections beyond 50 miles. 50-mile distinction is made because NRC RASCAL modeling is only capable to estimate dose values out to 50 miles. Therefore, NRC has responsibility to develop source terms and dose projections within Japan, up to 50 miles from the reactor site, while DOE has a lead for dose projections beyond 50 miles and for the United States and territories. DOE. And you remember I read the other day that you've got the NRC, they're saying, well, the DOE wants to spend a contingent of guys down here. They're like, no, 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 because we'll have to wrangle them. You know, they know that DOE is going to be a problem. So as bad as I, NRC, you tend to think they are, DOE may be even worse of an organization. And certainly in the Three Mile Island, we know they said, no, nah, there's nothing happening here. Everything's fine. And meanwhile, Three Mile Island's paying a one-point-something million to Down Syndrome uh, child, a family with a Down Syndrome child. So, so there's some major deception going on, as I repeat constantly to tell you. The source term provided to NARAC was, here's the kicker. The source term provided to NARAC was, one, 25% of the total fuel in Unit 2 released to the atmosphere, two, 50% of the total spent fuel from Unit 3 was released to the atmosphere, and three, 100% of the total spent fuel was released to the atmosphere from Unit 4. Let me repeat that again, number three. 100% of the total spent fuel was released to the atmosphere from Unit 4. All 96-hour dose projections, Alaska, Hawaii, West Coast, are well below the one rem total effective dose. Protective action guideline based on predicted cesium-137 deposition. Except for Alaska, all thyroid dose estimates are well below the EPA 5 rem protective action guide, PAG. The thyroid estimate is very conservative and does not consider intervention actions like distribution of potassium iodide, again an admission that a potassium iodide could help, I mean, right there. But then in another part, they tell you when reporters ask, no, 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 we're not sending it to Japan while they secretly are. No, you don't need it around here. Reactors here, it only covers you against these. And, well, better you cover me against that than nothing else, you know. You drop me into a pit full of spiders, and there's two different kinds, and you say, well, i got an antivenom for one, but it only cure you for one, so no need throwing it down to you. You know, does that make a lot of sense? I say, throw me the damn one cure for the one spider. At least I only get bit by one. It's common sense. A lot of lying going on here, folks. Like I say, someone's a liar. Someone is the biggest liar in the world, man. And they can't cover their tracks. You can't when you're a liar. You really can't. I've busted more trolls and more lying in the last year and a half than in my whole life I ever thought. I ever thought. I never knew. Deception and lying and secrecy and cover-ups. I mean, not just in the government, but all turn media. Come on. The thyroid estimate is very conservative and does not consider intervention actions like distribution of potassium iodide, removing dairy cows from contaminated pastures, or interdicting milk or leafy vegetables contaminated with iodine-131. 
wasn't even in France. They were warning people not to eat certain kale or leafy stuff. They actually had warnings, rainwater warnings, food warnings, milk warnings. Over here, radnet monitors went out suspiciously, weren't working, went offline. You know, it's just the craziest thing. I'm telling you what happened in America, and, and I discussed this with my mom the other day. I said, when you look at the response to Fukushima, the cover-up and them letting us get hit by the plume and the media hiding it and all turning it off, I said, Americans are treated the worst maybe than even China or Russian, I don't care what you say. I'm telling you now I have the evidence to back up my claims. Americans are treated like less than cattle because even cattle you try to keep alive to take the market or you know, it's almost like the depopulation event fits right in there because if you're trying to save our lives, wouldn't you have issued warnings? Stay out of the rain, potassium iodide, don't eat from that contaminated pasture, get a good food supply, wear an N95 breather mask for crying out loud. Tell you women and children, stay indoor. Don't push the baby carriage out on the beach in California. Think about the bulk of the stuff coming out in the first couple, three weeks. Obama's in South America, coincidentally. We're getting blasted over here. The initial uh, mortality index study, Mangana Sherman, showed 12, almost 13,000 fatalities, 800 infant um, uh, fatalities. So we got hit hard, and we weren't told. And other countries were, if you look at the blog talk post I got today, you can see cycling through on the pictures, the rainwater warning for you know, France and uh, United Kingdom and one other country. There's there's more than that. More countries gave warnings. But we we even got warnings back when Chernobyl went off in Oregon, right? I think Michigan or somewhere else, if I remember right. So we had rainwater warnings back in 86 when Chernobyl melted down here in the States. But Fukushima in a direct jet stream, Pacific jet stream, we didn't get anything. In fact, when the Surgeon General came out and was asked, should we stock up on potassium iodide, if you remember right after the incident, she was asked publicly and on camera, and she said that wouldn't be an unreasonable idea. I'm paraphrasing. Something that affected wouldn't be unreasonable to have that, and probably not a bad idea. Within an hour, she came back out publicly on camera to say, no, you don't need it. Okay, a total, absolute retraction. So the obvious conclusion is she had a phone call. Someone contacted her. Like Ralph Nader says, when you elect them, it's almost as if someone intercepts them before they get to office and things change. Isn't it, though, folks? And that's fascism. I dislike fascism greatly. I really do. I really do because I used to be a Well, I'm still a musician, but not to the degree I was. Obviously, I'm reading FOIA documents instead of writing and working on my song, Confirmed Reptilian, that's coming up, right? So I'm spending my time learning about cesium deposition, when I should be studying Phrygian scales and working on my shuffle beat for my new song, folks. That's a fact. And this is sad. Don't tell you America's a beautiful country. I don't want to get off on a tangent. But, folks, when you read these documents, it answers all the questions, every single one. And if you've got any questions about this country, you're not sure what this country is all about, start digging in. And do you really want to know? Because if you don't, go into your football game. You won't be sitting here this long tonight if you don't want to know, obviously. In fact, you still listen to me. If you've been here this whole time, you care. And you want to know. That's the difference. So we see here clearly that they're saying, got a little distracted there, Unit 4, they're saying we did modeling off 100% of the total spent fuel that was released from Unit 4. This is the same one they've been scaring you up on for a long time. Now, now someone is giving us disinformation, misinformation, lying, or combination of both, right? They could all be lying if you think about it. You have to begin to consider all possibilities and eliminate the ones that are most ridiculous and don't fit, working your way down to some core reality, folks. You have to become an investigator because the mainstream show ain't going to do it, right? Okay, you got the alternative. Where are they on the FOIA doctors? Even informable is not. Some of the stuff I've seen recently, I'm like scratching my head. I'm scratching my head because nobody, nobody. Oh, well, Halloween night, I'm cranking my bus up, run some trolls over in the street, join me. Okay, we see here clearly that Unit 4, according to this model, no big deal, no big deal. So someone's not being honest. Is the modeling inaccurate? And I would probably suggest that's the most likely story. When you look at their modeling, when you look at what they want us to know, and remember, they know they're being recorded. They know they're being recorded. They talk about for you. Remember, the Freedom of Information, send all your email to here so we can redact it. I mean, that's not freedom. That ain't democracy, and it's not transparency. And when we're talking nuclear power, Look, I don't think we're going to be able to settle for anything less than total absolute transparency. It's so damn dangerous. And when we have a meltdown over here, what's going to, what are people going to say? I'm just going to wag my finger and say, I told you so. I told you so. Why did it have to happen? Why did it have to happen? can't understand why people don't get involved. Can we go to page 10? 